Jumptown 2.0 has arrived in the PTU, and with that comes a mixed bag of good and bad. I'm Voidwalker Joe with The Lost Suli, and this is a Suli update. 316 has been added to the PTU currently in Wave 1, meaning subscribers and concierge have access to download and test out Jumptown 2.0 as well as some other interesting features. But today, I'll only be going over my first experience with the mission. First things first, opening your Moby Glass will give you one priority mission wherever you are within the Stanton system. Liaison officer with Crusader Security, and I'll be supervising your work in helping us deal with this illegal production facility today. It's one of the newer automated style where it's pretty much hands free for the outlaws. Crazy how advanced these things are getting. We'd like you to go there and secure as many of the crates of contraband as you can and bring them to us for processing and disposal. And of course, if there are any hostile forces present, you're expected to deal with them as appropriate. And remember, caution is the key word all around. Before heading out, grab whatever medical supplies, armor, ammo you may want. You will also want to bring some friends with you as well. If you don't have any, then click the link in the description below to our org discord. And then congratulations! You just made all the friends in the world to fill up that redeemer you just bought at IAE. There are two types of missions, lawful and unlawful. If you don't have a crime stat, you'll get the lawful mission, which is what I'm currently doing. Upon taking off, you're going to see two points of interest marked off for you on your HUD. One is the location of the contraband, which is on the moon Yella. The second is the drop-off point at Port Olisar's trade kiosk. It's also worth noting that 316 comes with it the first implementation of Quanta which is what Jumptown and many other events will be utilizing in the future, making Jumptown a frequent in-game event which Quanta will trigger, not just at Jumptown, but at two other new locations as well, Raven's Roost and Paradise Cove, both similar layouts as Jumptown. Once I arrived, I regretted my decision to go alone, as I didn't really know what to expect at Jumptown. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be hostile, so I just headed in, carelessly. The developers made this location, with FPS in mind, so you'll notice plenty of nooks and crannies to hide and take cover in. The fun lies in the well-placed sniper positions, and two manable turrets scattered around Jumptown, which I will show you later on in the video. As you can see, someone left me an early Christmas gift in the airlock, which I gladly accepted. I never would have thought that Santa would end up being my drug dealer. Little did I know that having your weapon drawn while trying to access the trading terminal inside would be a very bad idea. Now, what I wasn't expecting is that my enemy would end up turning out to be a pretty swell guy. As you can see here, he's reviving me. This is the first issue I want to bring up more profitable currently to do the lawful mission than the criminal mission. Most players in Star Citizen would rather work together, so I think we're going to see more of this often. 
Why would you even risk yourself dying when you can be a good neighbor? Everyone benefits from the maze that constantly spawns at the location with hardly any cooldown period. I loaded the contraband in my large cargo hauler and took off with no issues. As I left, I noticed an influx of people crowding their ships around Junktown. As you can see, the maze has a unit price of 600 Alpha United Earth credits, with 24 units netting me 14,400 Alpha UEC. Again, Officer Van Zandt, just saw the confirmation that you dropped off the contraband. Great work. Crusader Security thanks you for your effort. Deciding to go back for more footage, I managed to catch a wild reclaimer making sweet love with the facility. I can't help but wonder if this is how salvage gameplay will be born. And if you look off to your left, you'll see a beautiful dragonfly testing out the new grav lab rework for 316, which does not end very well for him. And now that the Reclaimer has finally done his deed, we can now land and I can show you the outside of this facility. The outside, like I mentioned before, has lots of places for you and your friends to assert dominance over other players. Or just do what that Reclaimer did. Make sure you ask for consent first though. Here you will find the manable turrets. One facing the rear and one facing towards the front. I'm not sure I like their positions too much, but hey, I guess they'll do just fine. I couldn't find how to make them work, but I'm sure they will be operational for the live PU build, hopefully coming in the next week or two. Off in this direction, you will find another turret to the right, as well as two loot boxes with weapons, ammo, and attachments. Now, I haven't seen some of these weapons before, so let's hope that they are giving us some worthwhile loot in this upcoming 316 patch. That's going to be it for this video. These videos take a long time to make, which is why my girlfriend hates me and this game. So it would mean a lot if you enabled me by liking and subscribing, as well as commenting down below whether you liked or hated the video. Then maybe when I show her people at least watch these things, she will accept me in this unhealthy obsession I have with Star Citizen. With that bad joke out of the way, I want to say thank you guys again, and I hope to see you around the verse.